The CSO's demand Malami Lai Mohamed Garbashew's resignation sack, says the misled Buhari. A civil society organization has called for the immediate resignation or sacking of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abu Bakr Malami. The Minister of Information and Culture, Laji Lai Mohamed, and Senior Special Assistant to President Mohamed Buhari on Media and Publicity, Garba Shew, over their roles in the suspension of the embattled microblogging site Twitter in Nigeria. The civil rights group, while condemning the suspension of Twitter in the country, accused Malami, Mohammed, and Shewu of misleading the president into committing on democratic acts capable of causing anarchy, dictatorial rule, and doom in the country. In a joint statement, the president of International Solidarity for Peace and Human Rights Initiative and leader, Mass Movement for True Democracy, Integral Development and Good Governance, Comrade Osmond Ugu, Deputy Leader Comrade Jerry Chukwu Kolo, and Secretary Comrade Zulu Ofo Elwe, called for the immediate reversal of the ban, adding that it violates extant laws of the fundamental human right. The statement read, in part, we have watched keenly the crisis generated so far by the indefinite suspension of Twitter in Nigeria by the federal government, the order for arrest and prosecution of users of the social media platform by the Attorney General of Federation and Minister of Justice, more crises that are likely to follow the action of the suspension order for arrest and prosecution of Twitter users and directive for registration by owners of social media in Nigeria. We hereby call for immediate withdrawal of the suspension and the resignation of those responsible for the misdirection. This scenario has brought the country into ridicule and poses serious danger ahead for the country and citizenry as a result of willful ill advice and pronouncements of the trio of Ministers for Information and Culture and that of Ministry of Justice. Mr. Abubakar Malami and Lai Mohamed respectively, as well as Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media, Garba Shewu, with the likely consequences of anarchy and boom. The suspension of Twitter by the federal government, the order of arrest of users of Twitter and mandatory registration order for Twitter and other social media platforms constitute gross abuse of constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, African Charter Ka on Human and uh, People's Rights, United Nations Charter on Human Rights, as well as the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights with respect to freedom of expression. The action and the directives also violate eminently some aspects of fundamental objective and directive principles of state policy as provided for in Chapter 2 of 1999 Constitution of Nigeria as amended and if not properly addressed with urgency it deserves will dispose the president and government of the federation into full-scale dictatorship and plunge the country into anarchy and doom simply because of ill-conceived ideas, advice and actions of the three principal of officers. Precisely while section 13 of chapter 2 of CFRN states clearly that it shall be the duty and responsibility of all organs of government and of all authorities and persons exercising legislative, executive, and judicial powers to confirm to, observe, and apply the provision of this chapter of this Constitution. Section 14 states that Federal Republic of Nigeria shall be a state based on the principles of democracy and social justice. Section 17 of the same chapter provides that the state's social order is founded on ideas and ideals of freedom, equality, and justice. Section 39.1 of Chapter 4 of the same Nigeria Constitution provides that every person shall be entitled to freedom of expression, including freedom to hold opinion and to receive and impart ideas and information without interference. Subsection 2 of this section 39 states that without prejudice the, to the generality of sus, subsection 1 of this section, Every person shall be entitled to own, establish, and operate any medium for the dissemination of information, ideas, and opinions. 
even though this subsection states that the exercise of this freedom is subsection in subsection 2 of subsection 39 places a kind of limitation to exercise of this right by stating provided that no person other than the government of the federation or of a state or any other person or body authorized by the president on the fulfillment of the conditions laid down by the act of the national assembly shall own establish or operate a television or wireless broadcasting station for any purpose whatsoever subsection 3 of the same section 39 states that notwithstanding these limitation or conditions nothing in this section that in a particular subsection 2 shall invalidate any law that is reasonable justifiable in a democratic society article 19 of the united Nations declaration on human rights udhr clearly provides that everyone has a right to freedom of opinion and expression this right includes freedom to hold opinion without interference and to seek receive and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers nigeria is a signatory to this magna carta and must be bound by its provisions including the area that has to do with right to freedom of expression without unreasonable interference restrictions or unbearable conditionalities by virtue of fundamental rights enforcement rules 2009 under chapter 4 of the 1999 constitution as amended united nations declaration on human rights and other international instruments have been adopted by the constitution it states in section 3b of its preamble uh, of the preamble rather that for the purpose of advancing but never for the restricting the applicant's rights and freedom the court in Nigeria shall respect municipal, regional, and international views of rights cited to it or brought to its attention of which the court is aware. Whether these views constitute instruments in themselves or form part of the larger document like constitutions, bill, such include the Universal Declaration on Human Rights and other instruments, including protocols in the United Nations human rights system. The CSO has even plunge by saying that another instrument of the United Nations human rights system is International Convention on Civil and Political Rights ICCPR. The convention states declares that freedom of expression includes the freedom to seek, receive and impact information and ideas of all kinds regardless of frontiers, either orally in writing or in print in the form of art or through any other media of persons choices.